वेलकम टू द हंड्रेड डेज कंटेंट चैलेंज डे एलेवन आज का टॉपिक है गूगल एड्स के ऊपर कैसे इंटरव्यूज होता है क्या पूछा जाता है गूगल एड्स के ऊपर कैसे क्वेश्चन किए जाते हैं गूगल एड्स के ऊपर ये आज के इस इंटरव्यूज में आपको फील किया जाएगा आपको समझाया जाएगा Yes, hi Nilam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm I'm also fine. I'm also doing good. Yes, Nilam. Tell me about yourself. Um, myself, Nilam. Mm. I have been born and brought up in Belgaum. Mm. I've completed my schooling from Saint Joseph's Convent High School, mm. and I've done my higher studies that is diploma in biotechnology engineering from mm. Bangalore Acharya Institute of Technology. Mm -hmm. Later, I have uh, worked as an intern at Mayor's Healthcare Pharmacy Limited. Mm. Uh, there, I got exposure to um, Like you know, life science equipment, mm -hmm. and later I worked with uh, JustDial and Amazon dot in, mm -hmm. and uh, JustDial I worked in Bangalore and Amazon dot in in Pune, mm -hmm. and then after that uh, I got into family business, mm -hmm. and till date I was in my family business, and after that I joined digital marketing course. Okay, um, so why you shifted your career from this your uh, quality analyst, right? You worked yeah. as an and then. your education is also in different fields so why you have choose chosen digital marketing um actually uh, yeah my aim and passion was to go into life science earlier mm -hmm. as a student mm -hmm. uh, but due to certain reasons i could not continue my engineering like i i am a dropout from engineering mm -hmm. and then later then i thought like let me go and uh, you know uh, research something else Which I can do on my own. Mm -hmm. uh, since I was self-independent, uh, mm -hmm. I worked with Just Dial and then Amazon, mm -hmm. and then I shifted to Pune, mm -hmm. and then I got into business. And in the lockdown times, I thought that there was a great need for our business to get you know uh, online status, mm -hmm. because people uh, during lockdown times they were you know always online and they were searching whatever it is even if they want to order even milk packet. Mm -hmm. they were ordering online so then i thought uh, it is a need for us also you know because that time i remember uh, laptops were in great demand and mm -hmm. we had a business of second hand laptops cpus computers mm -hmm. so we had n number of students uh, especially students and work from home mm -hmm. so people were purchasing a la lot of laptops and um, you know we were not uh, on google Mm -hmm. but it was just a mouth publicity mm -hmm. neither we were on facebook mm -hmm. so i knew few things like you know you can tell a little bit of base mm -hmm. but then i thought let me go deep into it and study which will benefit our business as well as me so i thought of doing this course okay means so you got breakthrough from your business only means to go into a digital hmm. marketing yeah, exactly. okay perfect how google ads will help them to grow their businesses Uh, sir uh, nowadays like whatever now a simple thing we need people search on the google page the basic page which appears on uh, you know when we open google it is called the search engine page correct so mm -hmm. whatever like uh, in digital marketing like uh, say keyword mm -hmm. and simple language suppose i need even a water bottle i will type the water bottle so i'll get n number of results mm -hmm. for water bottles so this is how you know uh, suppose if my company is selling water bottle definitely my name would appear over there but for this we need to make sure that uh, we add relevant keywords mm -hmm. and then text uh, related to our content mm -hmm. so that our ad can be seen okay what are the networks that you can promote your business using this using google ads there are there five types of networks first one is the uh, search network second mm -hmm. is the display ad third one is the video ad fourth is the shopping ad and the fifth one is a smart ai ad mm -hmm. So, so so which one is beneficial for any business if if you for if you if clients come to you and you want to recommend that ki go for this network or this network, which networks you will re recommend uh sir it uh, de uh, depends upon their uh, you know usability or their uh, like need mm -hmm. like suppose if we want so if we make their brand awareness mm -hmm. or reach more and more people we can go for search, search ad and mm -hmm. display ad mm -hmm. search is usually done when they type the keywords mm -hmm. but uh, display ad is how uh, it uh, automatically displays uh, on you know, partner websites like you know you have this gana.com mm -hmm. sao and gmail so you know and it depends sometimes even i'm not interested in a product but if it displays you know i can just click on it and mm -hmm. go through 
So even automatically, I'm getting a click as well as a reach. Correct. Means you say as per the client's requirement, requirement. You, will, you will become yeah. the okay. perfect. Yeah. No. Video ad is usually, you know, on YouTube's. Mm -hmm. It is sometimes before, after, mm -hmm. or in middle, like skippable, in skippable, mm -hmm. or bumper ad. Mm -hmm. And then shopping ad is basically the one, you know, uh, like suppose it is for e-commerce websites. Mm -hmm. Like I'm searching for a red hat or red color mm -hmm. shoes. Automatically, I get a picture mm -hmm. and description. Mm -hmm. So I can go deep into it by clicking on it. Okay. And then last one is a smart AI ad, which is the combination of above all. It is a little expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, if, uh, if you are running Google ads on search network, you are working on the search network mm -hmm. and uh, you, are, you have done all the tasks like you have run the campaign and you, you are seeing that your result is not coming mm -hmm. as per the requirement if my ad is not showing on top of the page mm -hmm. on number one your ad is showing in third fourth position because more you will get clicks if your ads appears on number on one top. on the top so what will you do if you want to rank number one so that basically depends upon uh, the keywords i use and you already know, you are used keywords yeah and mm -hmm. also on the uh, paper click or you can also uh, call it as a CPC like a uh, click uh, depends upon pay per click uh, mm -hmm. because our ad is basically designed like suppose if I'm using a display network I'm I'm talking about search network mm -hmm. I'm not talking about display network. I'm just talking about search network if you my simple question is if you want to rank that ad on number one position mm -hmm. right now it is on third position or it's like on fourth position but I want it on first position on top of the search engine. So, what strategy you will implement? I will use a pay per click strategy. Pay per click, or we can say you will increase CPC. What exactly you want to say? Sir, uh, both are similar. So, we can use any one of them. Like Still, it's not happening then. Uh, then uh, I will uh, make sure that uh, I will. Uh, use relevant content, images, improve my text. Do you know the quality score? Yeah, quality score uh, depends upon the ad rank and the relevant keywords we use. Mm -hmm. So, so if you increase the quality score, what will happen? So automatically, if I increase the quality score, my uh, company's uh, name will appear on the top. So that's what my, that was my question. Mm -hmm. I was asking about same thing, right? If you want to rank number one, mm -hmm. So definitely you will need to work on your increase if your quality score is 5 so we will try to go ahead to 7 10 right so what exactly you have to do is uh, i need to work on my quality score quality score so what exactly you will you will uh, what how to increase quality score my simple question is sir quality uh, score is by using uh, relevant uh, keywords and uh, by uh, you know um, increasing the marketing strategy like pay per click or cpc so do you know the exact answer? do you know the uh, how to increase the landing page experience uh, yes sir. what is landing page so landing page is the uh, first page which appears on a website mm -hmm. or whenever a uh, ad appears on google search engine page mm -hmm. uh, so when a person clicks on that link we automatically go to the landing page mm -hmm. so what are the strategy you need to implement on landing page on a landing See, landing page, page is play very big role right yeah yeah because user are clicking mm. on your ad and then they are going to the yeah. landing page yeah. if your landing page is not good mm. so then it will hamper your cost right yeah so what exactly the strategy or what exactly the things you to implement on your landing page we need to use relevant keywords relevant mm. text mm. Uh, relevant images mm. Uh, by this we can improve the quality of our landing page mm. and uh, also we need to make sure that uh, how much time it should take less time to load mm -hmm. loading also. yeah because that plays an important factor mm -hmm. so if i want what, what is ctr? ctr click through rate click through it if you if you want to increase the ctr so what you will do in your ad uh to increase the uh, ctr uh, sometimes uh, we can add negative keywords but negative keywords your ads will not appear if you use negative keywords right so you will add will not appear sir, uh, my ad will not appear uh, but uh, sometimes uh, you know like it will not show like suppose it is free or uh, free digital marketing course but at least the word digital marketing is present so mm -hmm. there are possibilities that my ad will be shown mm -hmm. and a person you know while going through he yes, might click on that you are perfectly correct. but my question was 
how to increase ctr do you know extensions yes sir so what is the use of extension we, we can, can add additional extensions extension by so clicking how on how it helps uh, sir uh, when a person clicks on the additional extension they land directly to that page yes it's like okay but links. why we are using it um, to increase uh, the rate uh, to increase the ctr rate so that's what's <laughs> my question right yes. So how to increase CTR? By adding extensions. So what are the types of extensions? The different types of extensions are call extension, site extension, local, uh, sorry, location extensions, mm -hmm. social annotations, mm -hmm. and then we have uh, seller ratings, review extensions, mm -hmm. and drop down navigation extension. Mm -hmm. yes, you will use extension to increase yes. your CTR. Okay, perfect. And my next question will be on. Uh, you have used keywords, right? So, yes. what are the match types in keywords? Uh, we have broad match, uh, mm -hmm. uh, phrase match, exact match, and negative keywords. Which one you prefer? Mm -hmm. Sir, I would prefer uh, broad match. Why? Sir, in broad match, uh, like uh, similar synonyms mm -hmm. are present. Mm -hmm. uh, so but again, it will uh, hamper your message. It will get lots of uh, fake clicks as well, or irrelevant clicks as well. Yeah. So then how do you tackle with that irrelevant uh, clicks? Uh, sir, uh, by giving, uh, in that we have a subtype which is a broad match modifier. So, uh, you know, we can, uh, in that we can either add... Broad match modifier is not working nowadays. Okay. So you said yes, broad match you will prefer. Yeah. But sometimes if, if your business have no search volumes, okay. that time you can go into the broad match. Mm -hmm. But if your business has lots of search volumes, mm -hmm. That time broad match will be very uh, negative. Yeah. It will give you negative results because it will, you will get uh, lots of irrelevant clicks. Yeah, exactly. So that times phrase match. Can you prefer phrase match? Yeah, we can go for phrase match mm -hmm. because in phrase match, even if the keywords are particularly the keyword is searching, mm -hmm. and even if the order is like you know a little year and there are upside down, mm -hmm. still the result would appear. Mm -hmm. So phrase match would do. Also, you know one uh, negative match. Uh, negative match, yes, sir. Sir, uh, negative uh, match, uh, you, like you want me to give the example mm -hmm. or definition? Yes, you can just give me an example of negative match. Like, suppose I'm searching for, uh, like, you know, uh, free, uh, like, you know, free online digital marketing courses. Mm -hmm. So, free would be the negative word mm -hmm. in that. So, someone is searching for free digital marketing courses. We are not providing free, yeah. right? Yeah. So, 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 your ad should not be reached. Yeah, it should it will not appear. Yeah. Users. Okay, yeah. perfect. What are the targeting methods in Google Ads? Uh, Dis are, if you go for the display, if you go for the YouTube ads, what are the different types of audience and objectives or we can say you can uh, target? Targeting, we have like, you know, uh, targeting based on their interest, mm -hmm. like audience. Then mm -hmm. we have, we can also even customize the audience. Mm -hmm. Then we also have affinity audience. Also. Mm -hmm. So in customized audience, basically, uh, sometimes we need to give the keywords mm -hmm. and add there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in uh, affinity audience, it is based on people's interest or likes, which is related to our business. And uh, interest, it is like similar hobbies or mm -hmm. likes. Mm -hmm. So there are different types of audience. And then again, uh, we also have... Mm -hmm. Uh, in YouTube, YouTube like we have different types of we have placements like mm -hmm. sometimes you also have a choice like suppose uh, if I'm follow like if there's a particular page which is related to mm -hmm. ad mm -hmm. we can place an ad over there mm -hmm. we can uh, we have again the different options like mm -hmm. skippable and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay what is remarketing uh, remarketing is something uh, where we can retarget our audience who have already visited our website. What is the process if if the client is coming to you and asking, I want to retarget my existing customers? So what are the steps that you will follow? So we have a, a code uh, which we install on our website. Mm -hmm. So suppose we have a pixel code which we install over there. So suppose uh, now so there it's are a pixel code. It's, it's it's for Facebook. So what is the code name that? Right now, I'm unable to recall it, mm -hmm. uh, but I'll definitely I'll make sure that you know <laughs> when okay. look mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. no so worries. there is a code I remember mm -hmm. that in Google website we can mm -hmm. install it. Mm -hmm. So through that code, we uh, know like how many people have visited our website mm -hmm. and what activities they have done. Mm -hmm. So accordingly, like there are chances that sometimes a customer uh, goes till the end page, but then again goes back. So we know that that particular customer is interested in the product. Mm -hmm. But due to some reasons, he has gone back. Mm -hmm. So such type of audience, we can retarget mm -hmm. and make sure that a product appears in front of them and they go ahead and they purchase it. Okay.
what are the optimization strategy in google ads if you want to get a um, maximum results in the minimum cost so what are the optimization strategy will apply so like we can apply uh, bidding strategies mm -hmm. in that we have the two types manual and automated so these days uh, since google has provided the option of mm -hmm. automatic mm -hmm. we go for automatic bidding strategy mm -hmm. because they adjust the bid accordingly uh, mm -hmm. like what is going on uh, you know the latest mm -hmm. uh, you know real time mm -hmm. data mm -hmm. So which one is preferred? Uh, automatic, automatic bidding is preferred, or manual bidding is preferred? I would go for automatic bidding. Automatic bidding means so Google will just give me the money yeah. and uh, yeah, Google will spend it. Make use of it. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> client says I don't want to go for ma manual. Uh, automatic, I want to go for manually. So so manual we can definitely do, but. Uh, how much google would benefit us mm -hmm. it would benefit us through automatic mm -hmm. through manual we might reach a certain amount of you know mm -hmm. customers but through google but as a digital marketer can you try both or we can try both as a digital marketer and you will find the results right yeah a is good or b is good yeah definitely and according to the future if, if you find a manual is good and manual is getting lots of results then go automatic then you will go for manual and then if you find manual is not getting results and automatic is giving more of it then you go for automatic so as a digital marketer these are the strategies you will implement as optimization okay okay Neelam, that's great uh, you have done a good job in google ads six uh, interviews uh, so all the best for your future journey hope you will understand how many interviews are in google ads ke andar. still subscribe to button nahi dabaya to daba dijiye सीरियसली दबा दीजिए और पुराने सारे इंटरव्यूज आपने जो देखे नहीं होंगे आपने सारे जो कंटेंट नहीं देखे होंगे तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में सारे टॉपिक वाइज लिंक दिया है हर एक को चेक कर लीजिए ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच गाइस फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो